thank you for the honor of joining us here today at the uh, Cultural Diplomacy Academy in Berlin. Uh, and um, we would like to ask you some questions and thoughts and opinions uh, over some salient issues. Uh, the first question would be uh, that uh, over the past 15 years, uh, the ICD has uh, worked to extend current research programs and uh, practices in the field of cultural diplomacy uh, by founding the Academy of, uh, for Cultural Diplomacy and uh, becoming the first institu institution to have higher education programs um, in, in this field. And uh, we would uh, like to know how significant is uh, to have cultural diplomacy as a recognized acad academic field in your opinion? How significant? Very significant, I think. I have come to believe that cultural diplomacy is really an important way of trying to achieve world peace and a better world um, in a lot of different ways. Uh, having people from different cultures meet, talk to each other, and uh, Analyzing what is happening when they do is really important. It's, it's uh, basic, I think. And uh, to have this studied at an academic level is really important because at first people don't know what this is. What, what do you want to do? What, what are we doing with this? And uh, analyzing that and systemizing it and uh, really thinking uh, closely about it is perfect for academic academic subject to me. So really significant. Thank you. Uh, the second question would be that um, the Academy for uh, Cultural Diplomacy organizes a number of uh, international conferences bringing together um, different uh, individuals from very diverse backgrounds and uh, this way uh, enables cultural exchange and dialogue. Um, how can cultural diplomacy help uh, to build trust and allow uh, discussion on global issues uh, such as the efficiency of international law and uh, enforcement of human rights? Um, that's a really difficult question, a very top, complex question. Uh, and I, I, I'm sure I can't give a really good answer now from the top of my head, but basically I think it is, it is uh, fundamental for international law and human rights to uh, have an understanding between people who are to deal with each other and at an inter international level when um, when international law comes into play and human rights come into play it's really it happens all the time that you misunderstand each other that you you don't know the other person's concept that you you don't know from where the other person starts and uh, as soon as this happens that you you feel that the other person is not uh, trustworthy or or strange in his or her thinking it it starts ruining the the process so to speak so i think cultural diplomacy is really interesting uh, and important in the field of international law and human rights. Uh, it's difficult to, to immediately come up with examples, but uh, I'm very positive to, to the, uh, the, uh, the cultural diplomacy factor. I understand. And uh, what do you think about um, the interparliamentary alliance of, uh, of human rights and the global peace that was established to ra raise awareness of uh, universality and uh, for the fun fundamental human rights. Uh, how important do you see the role of international law in assuring the development and the implementation of uh, human rights globally? And what role can cultural diplomacy play in this ground? Um, to me, as a lawyer, human rights is international law. Uh, I, I, I tend to think of, uh, of human rights as the conventions, the, all the international instruments that are there to specify the human rights and to specify how far they go as towards each other. Like, for example, the freedom of expression towards the, the uh, freedom of integrity, privacy for a person, those two collide, so to speak. 
And to me, this is all international law. But then, of course, uh, there's a lot of in implementation issues and a lot of practical issues and a lot of political issues, um, which are extremely important. And it's there, it's, it's, it's there, it starts. But it's like, it's like with all other law, I think, that when um, uh, international, international law comes to grips with human rights, it's, it's like it always is with law, that um, law is sort of frozen politics. It's uh, uh, the politicians put their will into the, the legal texts and the law implements the political will and brings the political will over to the, the actual cases. So the international law is playing a very important role, both in practice and in, in principle, uh, when it comes to human rights. So I, I, being a lawyer, I'm not sure that I'm the right person to, to answer it, because to me, as I said to you, human rights is international law. So, it, I mean, it's, it's really, really, to me, it's really, really important. And the uh, last question. Um, as a judge in the Swedish Supreme Court, do you think that cultural diplomacy also plays a significant role for issues relating to national law enforcement? Uh, and can you per perhaps name some cases uh, where it was the case? <laughs> Well, as I told you before we started the interview, that would have been a nice um, question to have beforehand because it's really <laughs> difficult, at least for me, it's difficult to come up with cases. And it's really a difficult but very interesting question as a whole. And I haven't thought about, I haven't thought about this uh, before. So I would have to pass on this question. I, re I really would like to think about it because I, I have a feeling there is something there which is important and which is interesting and which is which we should dwell upon, but I can't give you any precise, more precise answer than that now. I'm sorry. Maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> yeah. I'll be happy to. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>